Kylian Mbappe with the World Cup trophy, kissing the World Cup trophy. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Face is in profile, okay? And the, like the trophy's down here and his nose is like nearly touching the trophy itself, right? Sorry, now my page is moving. We start with his nose, right? So just starting here, we're gonna curve a line. Curves down, kind of bumps a bit on, on the bridge of it. And comes down around here, right? Okay. And he's kissing, right? So he's got this sort of line that just comes underneath the nose. It's like his lip line and his nose line, right? So it just comes up this way. And then you have the skin of the nostril that comes around here. And you actually have his nostril inside there, right? And we'll just darken this up a little bit in here just to show there's like a bit of a shadow in it. There we go, like just a line there. Okay, so just here we have his eyebrow that sort of comes out from above his eye. So it just goes like this direction, right? So it goes up like there. And right across from here, we have his eye that's like looking this way, right? So the top eyelid, just here, diagonal, and then comes across. Right, and you could have some like eyelashes and stuff just here comes across and then down the back and some eyelashes back here as well. So his eyeball itself is just here, comes down, curves around like that. And then we bring it back into the corner. Like so. And then like his bottom eyelash on the eyelid line like comes down here. And you could have like some dots and dashes just for like bottom eyelashes and stuff just down here as well. So his iris, just a dark sort of oval because he's looking this way. It's not like a perfect circle. So it just comes like down here and he's looking over so it's just looking this way okay you can't really see his pupil inside we could try and draw it but it's kind of just a dark brown eye but i tell you i'll put it in put it here again a long oval Like so, so it looks like he's looking up and that way, okay? Okay, so he has some bags underneath his eyes, so like a line just underneath going this way. It's like his cheek. around up to his nose sort of there and then he has a bit of an eyelid line so just coming across the top of his eye here down the back and it kind of joins the skin just on the side of his eye on his temple just there which comes around for his forehead area there 
So he's got an eyebrow here, right? So just above, kind of hairy. And then it just goes across the top of his eye this way. And kind of down the back here. Up this way and down here. Any kind of like an eyelid sort of nose area here. Mm, like the bridge of his nose comes down this way. All right, so then over this side, right, we have his other eyebrow. Just comes around here. You can barely see it. And his other eye and eyelash sticks out this way. And then his bottom eyelid line. Comes there and joins his eye that side. And then the bag underneath his eye. So this area, you can see it on the side of his face in there. And then some eyelash lines just coming down there. And again, an oval. Just looking that way again. Okay. Right, so his forehead will just go this way. Bumping a little bit like that, and he could have like, you know, sort of skin lines and stuff. Like so. And we can't see his mouth really at all. So we've got this globe just here, right? And it's kind of a bumpy sort of situation. So it just like comes around here. It's not like a smooth thing. It's kind of got textures, loads of textures and stuff on it. Okay. And then we'll, we'll draw this all in. We'll just get the main shape, right? So it comes out this way on both sides. And then we go down like so. Nice. And there's all details on this, of course, but I'll come back to it. All right, so that's our shape for the World Cup. Mbappe's face then, right? So his chin just comes out here. And his jaw comes up like so and then he's kissing the thing right so we can see like just like his face there and then his mouth kind of here it's kind of shadowed up a little bit maybe we'll do it smiling And then his top lip just comes up there, bottom lip. Like so, and then we seem to have like cheek lines here, like big raised up sort of cheekbone lines. And they're lightly drawn in and like coming down here too. 
then around his mouth. Okay, so he's got this like raised up little sort of cheek because he's like puckering up his lips. And that's his cheekbone, okay. And it's just done with these hatching lines because it is shadow, so you can't really draw a line for a shadow. You've got to do these light little broken lines, okay. It's just a little trick for when you're doing a line drawing. So then he has like a sideburn, real long and pointy sort of sideburn. And then it goes up for his hairline here. And it is just, it's shaved, right? So you just have to do these little dotted lines, sort of really small like that. Because this would be like colored black or gray. And then his hairline goes this way. Okay, so his ear, out from here, around like that. And if you notice, his ear lines up just with his eyebrow there. And this comes down like so. And then ear lines inside, so. Curving around this way, easiest way is just a letter J, right? And then you can detail it up if you want. You can add more. All right, of this kind of stuff. Okay. So now the rest of his hair, so it's kind of shaved at the back here, just but just behind his ear. And then his head and his bumpy, short curly hair. Just this kind of bumpy line that goes the whole way around to the front. All right, if you want like some textures on it just to show that's kind of shaved and stuff that it is sort of lightly textured just following the shape for his head you can do as much of that as you want Basically, All right, but that's his hair. Like so. Okay, so neck and he's got like a chain around the neck. So his trophy and his medal. So he's got like his neck kind of bunches up here because the skin has been pulled, right? So it comes down and then the bandage or the thing around his neck hangs down this way okay at the front of it we've got like his Adam's apple just here and then his neck muscle down that side neck muscle down there maybe another neck muscle line just there so your neck muscle goes up behind your ear, your big one here at the front. Then his shirt, his jersey, comes around from the neck. And it goes up under here. Around the back. Coming out this way. And this French jersey doesn't have an extra sort of collar line, I don't think. There might be like a, a V or something down going that way. The metal has some stitching or something on the edge or an extra like white line. That way. So then his back 
literally just goes, he's bent up, hunched over, so his back just goes all the way down that way. And then his shoulder on the other side is like in behind the World Cup trophy, so it goes like down there. And then it comes around and just down that way. So then we have his shirt stitching line here and like his chest muscle kind of inside here just goes down that way. And there's all these fold lines on his jersey there. And then the other shoulder stitching line, the dark blue, and then his shoulder muscles kind of come down this way. So all these fabric lines basically to show the direction of the jersey. And then his medal on the other side, so it comes down here. Like that, and we'll give it an edge line too. Do, do, do. Okay, so that's the main shape for his body, his body position, right? And you could put like your Nike symbol if you want and the French. The French cockerel sort of thing the star so there's a star right here of course it's two stars now isn't it but when he won this it was only one star it's a one star there and then this guy's sort of head i'll draw it in roughly He's got a beak it's like the kellogg's cornflakes <laughs> is that insulting to france probably is yeah <laughs> And his tail just sort of comes around here. There's like an eye there somewhere. Some legs. on in very crudely but you get the idea okay so the world cup itself so it's like people holding up um the world basically right so there's like just these arms that sort of come around here but they're like abstracted sort of sort of things right it's like a head here i think like the arms go down this way it's all textured and like crazy amount of lines and stuff just all these bumps and stuff like this so I'm not being like super careful. I'm just like letting my sort of pen do all these dots by itself kind of thing. You know, I'm just like dragging it and letting these bumps come on and, and it just kind of works best that way because it's like, it's not a heavily detailed thing. You can actually see Mbappe's, one of his fingers here. And then on the globe itself, you can see like some countries. So it's like Africa, continents and things just. So that means if that's Africa, so then like India and the Middle East is like. 
roughly India here. I'm probably getting this way wrong, but <laughs> there's countries and stuff. So like Europe's up here somewhere. I should know this because I'm Irish, so Ireland is there. He's kissing Ireland, is he? So Spain, Africa, Spain, yeah, dudes, he's kissing Ireland. I always knew I liked Mbappé. Because if that's Africa, Spain's over here, that means Ireland, England is there. So, you know, just saying, when Mbappé won the World Cup, he kissed Ireland. <laughs> just joking, I'm just playing. Don't get mad at me. Okay. So that I think is the best I can do for this. It's not bad. Looks like him. Hope was helpful. Even if you didn't follow along the tutorial and you got some inspiration, even if you just pause this, print out the picture, color it in, pause it, print out the picture, trace it. Whatever you gotta do to get better is what you've gotta do. We don't throw hate here. We're just fans of drawing. Draw, draw, draw. Any way you can draw, doesn't matter. Don't let your inability to draw stop you drawing. That's what I always say. Never stop, never surrender. Keep going, get better. Enjoy yourself. No matter what anyone says. Am I right? Just like Mbappe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, bye.